So I found another one. Uh, every arcade, any anytime I go up to any type of kiosk, it's almost like they're not even trying to keep people out of it. And uh, here's another example. I've done so many videos like this on my channel, it's almost getting old, but I have to keep bringing it up because it's not getting fixed. Uh, but let me go ahead and I'm going to start this video here. Uh, I'm at an arcade with my uh, daughter, and I go up to the machines where you get the cards to to get time to play on the games. And most of these uh, arcade machines are, most of these machines, I just swipe from the left and you get yourself a Windows uh, touchscreen keyboard. But this one, under one of the menus, they, they had a menu for the restaurant that was there and I found that if I long pressed on the image, it gave me the option to um, email the image. When I clicked that, it brought up Internet, or not Internet Explorer, but Windows Explorer. And I was able to go through uh, all the files. And the, the Right here, I'm just going through everything, just seeing what folders I can get into. And the only folder I wasn't able to get into was the desktop folder, which is a weird folder not to be able to get into. Uh, but if you keep watching, you'll see that I actually get into the Windows system directory. And the only thing, I, now I'm not trying to be malicious here, I'm just showing that this is happening. If I got a, uh, a keyboard on that, a touchscreen keyboard, which a lot of these kiosks have, um, I would have had full access to the I'm going in, all, in full access to the system, let me be clear about what I'm saying. I'm going into all these directories, you're not seeing much inside the directories because it's defaulting to images because it was to email images, so it's only showing JPEG images and PNG images, uh, but if I had a keyboard I could change that and I would have access to all the files and I probably could have brought up a terminal and done a whole bunch of stuff. Again, I'm not trying to be malicious, but even my daughter can tell that something's not right here. Uh, after playing around a little bit, um, my daughter had to use the bathroom so I had a few more minutes. I went back and then I realized, oh, there's a, a print picture option. Uh, so when I clicked on it, uh, I saw there was a printer option, and I clicked print, and I was surprised. Uh, it actually printed out uh, where the receipts print out, but it printed out the image that was on the screen, which was pretty cool. Uh, but again, these are machines that people swipe their credit cards at and, and put money into. A lot could be done with these maliciously, and no one seems to care. Again, I don't think I've walked into a video arcade that I haven't been able to access, um, you know, the, the file system, and I'm not being malicious, but anybody, somebody being malicious, it would not be hard for them to do something. Is it a big deal? I think so, even though, you know, fraudulent credit card charges I'm not responsible for, credit card company is in general. Uh, there is laws about, you know, minimum of $50 in certain circumstances you might be responsible, or sorry, not minimum, but the most you'd be responsible is $50, and that's under, under certain circumstances and stuff like that. But it is, it, if someone was taking advantage of this and doing credit card fraud, um, it would cost money to the credit card companies, which eventually trickles down to us. and. This is not a Windows thing. A lot of these kiosks are running Windows, which, again, I don't understand why. Even if you're a Windows person, why would you pay for a Windows license when you're just running one application that you're writing that sh it shouldn't matter what oper operating system you're running? But I have one or two times found uh, Linux kiosks, kiosks out there. Years ago, I did a video where I was walking through the mall and there was a touch screen. It wasn't when I took money. It was just displaying advertisement and stuff, but I just went up to touch the screen, and at the same time, my daughter touched the screen, and it made the program crash, and I was brought to an Ubuntu desktop. I have a video up on that from years ago, and, and uh, people really like that one. The issue here is not necessarily that it's running Windows or Linux or whatever operating system it's running. It's the fact that it's a kiosk that has a single use. There is no reason for a desktop environment, a full desktop environment to be running. You you know, on Linux, it was the one that was running Ubuntu should not be running the full Ubuntu desktop. It should start up Xorg and your application and no desktop. In Windows, now I haven't been a Windows user for years, uh, but I can tell you back in the Windows XP days and before, and I would doubt, I, I would not doubt that it's changed. Um, Explorer, which is your desktop interface, is an application, and the file manager is part of that. If you went into the registry, you can change that to launch another executable. So if you went there, it's just an entry. I don't remember where it is in the registry, but it just says, you know, explorer.exe, you change that to another executable and it will launch that. At the minimum, that's what you should be doing. There should be no desktop with icons and toolbars because that's just a security flaw waiting to happen. If your kiosk program crashes, they're going to go to that desktop and there's no need for that. Anyway, years, it's, it's 2022 at the time I'm releasing this, 2021 at the time I'm recording this. There is no reason for, for this to be happening, but I can't walk up to a kiosk and not uh, within seconds be like, oh, I'm at the desktop. It shouldn't happen. That's my rant.